Hi, hello and welcome everyone to my channel of Profound Insights, a journey of learning, inspiration and discovery where you can learn, grow and share. Before we proceed further, please click on the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to get a notification of insight content and this will encourage me to come up with more such videos. Without further delay, let's jump right in. Feeling socially awkward at work? Three things to keep in mind to handle uncomfortable situations in office. Introduction While designing prevention of sexual harassment training sessions for your employees, keep in mind that in terms of demographies, you may have employees from different generations like Gen X, Millennial and Gen Z. Each group's needs may be different and they may speak a different language. There was a time when gentlemen were taught specifically to behave differently when a lady is present. While this may have seemed respectful, it still reinforced the idea that men's behavior when amongst themselves. A major shift has been in the idea that it is not just behavior that needs to be addressed, but also the underlying thought process. This also means the artificial barrier that may have protected folks from wrong behavior would come down, leading to the need for clear and articulated boundaries. Tips to avoid awkward situations at work Boundary setting I might be okay with hugs, but that should not be interpreted as a free pass for over-friendly behavior. One should always know how to tell people to stop and what the limitations are in any relationships. It is also relevant to note that in some arguable, more progressive workspaces, rigid hierarchies may not exist as much as they previously did. Hence, conversations may be more casual, boundaries may be little blurred between you and your boss or mentor. Hence, it is important to be clear about power dynamics and expectations rather than leaving anything unclear. Extending a friendly after-work drinks invite might be your way to get to know your junior or interns. But make sure that the other person is saying an enthusiastic yes and isn't feeling forced to join you out of social obligation. They didn't say no to you, but did they mean a yes? Think on it. It is always good to ask rather than assume the comfort of the person in your presence at all levels of a relationship. Intoxication may be a standard fixture at many work parties. The employees need to know how to navigate such spaces safely and while having fun. Forcing people to drink against their wishes is a strict no. One needs to drink in their limit, behave in their senses and avoid hitting on their colleagues while drunk. Ways of communication Ways of communication have evolved along with the evolution of technology that enables it. People can overshare as they have many more means to do so. Emojis and GIFs that show a heart or a kiss don't mean that the person loves you romantically or would like to be physically intimate. But also, how okay is it to send a kiss emoji to your colleagues? Think about it. The bottom line here is that we all are entitled and should commit to upholding safety and appropriateness in work conversations. Relationships in the era of dating culture being promoted rapidly by online apps and changing societal structures, people may be getting involved with each other in a more quick and open-minded manner. Several possible outcomes from this may affect the workplace dynamics such as casual relationships and those where someone has dated more than one person in the same workplace. Having a relationship with a colleague requires a lot of trust and patience. Companies can have policies and processes to reduce bias, conflict of interest or other complications in the workplace. The company culture should also address head-on any prevailing issues of gossips among the workforce. If other employees show sensitivity and respect for privacy, it will be the best support structure. We should also mention that some new modes of training find enthusiastic adoption among the new generations which we will discuss next. Gamification Game-based learning programs ensures everyone gets to participate, feel engaged and have fun while on their learning journey. 
These games not only test the awareness levels but also serve as sounding boards for people's feelings and opinions. These can be played in physical session and virtual, live and asynchronously. AI enabled e-learning programs designed to work with subjective responses factoring in multiple variables can deliver an enriching experience for the learner. One can enter a simulation and be immersed in lifelike situations with all their complexities and come out the other side having understood a lot about the subject matter, the world and about themselves. I hope you enjoyed this video and the information was useful to you as we wrap up this incredible journey together. Remember that the adventure doesn't end here. Keep listening to other such videos at Profound Insights under the Career Conversations Navigating Success playlist. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more insightful content and share your thoughts in the comments below. This will encourage me to come up with more such videos. Until next time, stay inspired and keep reaching the stars. Thank you.